And we're back. And by the way, for those wondering, I guess we are short a member. Uh, Gray's not a big fan of Naruto, so we wanted to cut him some slack for this uh, Let's Play. It looks too sad. If anyone's remembering, uh, speaking, yes, he will return. Thank of you. course, I mean, we're not just gonna do one Let's Play and then drop him. I mean, you know, we're not Capcom. <laughs> All right. For those who like Sonic Unleashed, this part is for you. For those who like the Sonic 06 mock sections, this part is kind of for you. I do. Uh, yes. Is this some um, all? Is this automa automated? Uh, you, running? Yeah. Oh. you don't have to run. You can walk it, but it's dramatically longer. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say because if it was automated, I'd get more Sonic 06 vibes. But if it's not, um. No, you have to do not. The right part. Okay, then yeah. Yeah, I, okay, it's just what people again, need. A Naruto mod in Sonic 06. No. Eh, I'd rather just play of the the Naruto Ubisoft games. If there's anything that I'm going to give this game credit for, well, I'll give it something more than that, is that the game actually does try to resemble all of... Uh, try to resemble off a lot of what... The anime was off was based on. But when we get to a certain level, you're gonna see what I just said has no continuity to what the anime. So oh. it tries to resemble some of the continuity. Yeah, it tries. Well, isn't that kind of like uh, most anime games in general? Ugh. There you go. I remember watching the review by some call me Donnie, and he was showing how, um, what was it, Dragon Ball Z Budokai? Yeah. Um, shows the, uh, joke thing with how you can change the outcome of a normal result, such as if a cell absorbs Krillin instead. <laughs> I'll admit, I got a kick out of that when I first saw that. It kind of makes me wish the anime went in, went in that direction. Most well, animes follow the manga, though, so... Mm -hmm. oh, okay, then it makes me wish the manga went in that direction. Yeah. Anyway, um... What I, was, what I was about to say for the game is that there was a lot of scrolls. The scrolls I used earlier was Kiba using his, um... Fang over Fang. Dear God, I can't even remember that detail off the top of my head. I can't even really remember Kiba, to be honest. I mean, he was more of an annoying character. Radical, dude! Eh, close enough. Um, there's Shino, and he didn't <laughs> do anything. Yeah, I noticed that. Shino didn't really do much, but... Um, Shino is actually the second most powerful ally you can call, right next to Kakashi. Kakashi's obviously always the strongest. Well, he's always the strongest of the good guys. And granted, that's because we we don't get access to people like Tsunade and Jiraiya. <laughs> well, isn't Tsunade basically broken beyond belief? Uh, like, in video games? Yeah. Not necessarily. She could be considered, you know, the best of the female fighters, but she's more, you know, average. I think they do more limiting than all. More or less. So, I was thinking about something. The Naruto Ninja Council 3, I believe. The Japanese was not um, included the fight between Naruto and Sasuke. And I wish the American release had that, but it doesn't. You know, I pointed that out in the first part, you know, that you know, that Ninja Council 3 was interesting, but the thing I didn't like about the Ultra release is that it omitted that fight. Which is annoying, because then you, you don't get the chance to, you know, unlock... Uh, hold on, hold on, what, what time are you guys at? Uh, let me check. We're at 448, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Alright.
I don't know. I can't. I don't even think I can. Well, oh, Tari never really had much music. Uh, Music-wise for GBA, I will say there is one track in this game I absolutely love. Maybe two, but aside from those two tracks, uh, the, this game's soundtrack is... It sounds very poor. Yeah. I, I, I'll admit, this is kind of one of the things that turned me off from trying testing out this game. I mean, there are sometimes I can handle an okay soundtrack, but I usually need a, I usually gotta have a decent to good soundtrack to really catch my interest. This game so, doesn't have it. Yep. Granted, it doesn't really look all that much interesting. I mean, it looks like a mix between a decent platformer and a uh, 2D beat him up. But still. Yeah. Anyway, and this this level has an extremely unusual gimmick. You gotta defeat all the enemies. Well, no, that's, that's in like every level. <laughs> okay, so what makes this level so gimmicky? Um, this this level actually is more or less kind of like a gimmick. But this level actually introduces those giant spike balls, and uh, yeah. Yeah, there's one right. there's one thing in this game I absolutely hate, and when you're hit on the ground, as soon as you get back up, you can actually get thrown across the stage. Hmm. And Chino is actually so. Those are spike balls. Oh, oh, I see. Like those, uh, uh, like that thing Eggman has in Sonic 1. Yes. Yeah. And those do a number of damage on you. That always seems to be the case. We're ready. What are those, um, things that you collect? With? Those are leaves. You have to collect them for an A rank. If you miss one, you get a B rank. This game is extremely picky on 100%. Or are you just standing there? I'm um, actually gonna recording. I I was goofing off and seeing if I could take off the waste that Rock Lee has, and then I realized in the running sections you're not allowed to use any of your jitsus. Why would you do that? Because Rock Lee. Trying to take off your weights. Yeah, Rock Lee goes dramatically fast without them. But he's already going fast already! Yes, no, but I... if you watch the anime, if they stay true to it here, when he takes off the weights, his speed increases tenfold. Yeah. Why does he have the weights in the first place? There, it's a training procedure. It's, um, it's that he's actually u uses it more for a, um, a limiter, per se, so he doesn't burn himself out. Uh, too fast. So. I really wish this game actually paid attention to the Rock Lee and Gara fight. Oh, Gara. 
We're gonna get to him later. Hmm. Anyway, pure silence. It's a thing of. Yeah. <laughs> well, and speaking of the Is that really going to work against Kabuto? Sexy soup. Uh, no, do you, do you see how much damage it took off? That's, okay. that's weird, I didn't think Kabuto was any kind of a pervert. <laughs> I mean... I mean, you know... I mean, Kakashi was is, is what I'd consider a closet pervert, but it's like... Kabuto always seemed like a, you know, a bit of a stoic. You know? I, I wouldn't have expected... Well, that was a waste. I wouldn't have expected him to be affected by, like, the sea tubes. Yeah, he was Kakashi, and, and if your opponent vanishes, he still does this animation. Yeah. Granted, yeah, that was a waste of his troll. I'm gonna give you a clap for that. Yeah. This is actually one of his more devastating moves. If he touches you, he at least takes off more than half of your life bar. Huh. Well. The very first time you face it's actually dramatically weaker. I don't particularly remember fighting Kabuto at this point in the anime, though. Or no. manga. No. This is, pretty, this is when the... After this level, this is when the um, game gets off the manga. I mean, the... Both anime and... At this anime. point, it already seems there. It yeah. already seems like it's at that point, because... If anything... Ouch. I don't remember... Uh, anyone really fighting Kabuto? Actually, we didn't really fight Kabuto until the search for Tsunade arc. Yeah, I know Kakashi encountered Kabuto when I believe he was trying to kill Sasuke. But I could be mm -hmm. wrong. That, that I don't remember. I'd have to look into that. Because I don't remember it was after the tuning exam, like you know, before the preliminaries. And... Oh God, that face! What face? This Naruto makes. Oh, uh, I'm. We're seeing Kakashi right now. Uh, I'm seeing him too. Yeah, I guess I missed it. But um, I don't really remember Kakashi uh, seeing Kabuto. Might have. I don't know. Now, okay, if the premise of this was supposed to be a training session, why is Kabuto the boss? Um, you'll figure out late. You'll figure out soon. I mean, it's like trying to play a wrestling game, and for training, you're doing a serious match against Hulk Hogan. <laughs> That's golden. <laughs>